A while back I did a video on what I was calling some MRE type products. They're the kind of things you can pretty readily find at your local convenience store or grocery store. And it was the kind of stuff that kind of mimicked what uh, an MRE is. Mainly that it's ready to eat right out of the package. I guess the idea is uh, somebody making homemade MREs. The kind of things that you'd want to put in there I and mean, maybe even the kind of things you'd want to avoid. It all depends on personal tastes and preferences. I still haven't gotten around to making any homemade MREs of my own. It just seems like kind of a complicated process because I know that no matter what I put in mine, somebody's going to complain and say, oh, I wouldn't have used that or why are you using that or, you know, whatever. But basically, I just it's something that has always been sort of of interest to me, but I've never gotten around to doing it. And I recently found a couple more products at the grocery store that seemed really tailor-made for a homemade MRE. And I decided to go ahead and make a quick video just on these two packages right here. The main reason is because they're both past their Best Buy date. I'm filming this in June, and this one was April 27th, 2016, was the Best Buy. And this one has a Best Buy of May 3rd, 2016. So it's going to be um, also a look at how well these things hold up. They're obviously not MREs. They're not meant to last three to five years. These are probably, they probably have like a, a six-month shelf life or so, which is still, still pretty good for a packaged food. And these ones specifically are pretty interesting because not only are they kind of similar to an MRE, they kind of, in the name itself, they sort of mimic an MRE. MRE is a meal ready to eat. And these things are called ready meals. This one's a Prego and this one's Paste. Uh, and apparently what it is is there's no such thing as uh, a single company anymore. Everything's a conglomerate. And these were manufactured for a Campbell Soup company. So I'm guessing Campbell Soup is, is the, the higher up that oh, has both of these companies. So like I said, I'm going to do a video just on these two. Uh, there are apparently some other varieties. I don't know how many varieties there are all together, but uh, the, our grocery store had these on special. They were originally $2.69, and because of the fact that they were really close or past their uh, Best Buy date, they are only $0.67, cents, which is incredibly cheap, and I would have liked to have stocked up even more, but I just got a couple to try them out. And they did have one other one available at the time, which I passed on. It was the Creamy Three Cheese Alfredo Rotini. That was a Prego one. And I did check on the shelves, and they, they actually still have these same flavors in the Alfredo. And they do have another paste meal. It's the uh, Southwest style chicken. But anyway, what we have is these Prego ready meals. They are fully cooked and ready to eat. It doesn't say that exactly, but it says they're microwavable in 60 seconds. Basically, it's the kind of thing you just need to heat up. Uh, kind of a, a cheap, uh, really easy kind of a meal. Preparation directions, microwave. Let me place it in unopened. You just kind of need that you don't need to vent it or anything. And you just uh, heat it up in the microwave. We actually don't have a microwave, so I'm going to have to use a different method. But of course, as I was saying, these are something that could be in a homemade MRE. So you could just take these out in the field with you and just uh, tear them open and eat them as they are, because they are fully cooked, as far as I can tell. Or you could heat them up any way that you heat up an MRE. You could either leave them out in the sun, you could uh, put them in boiling water, you could uh, tear these open and put them in a pan and heat it up over a fire. And I was looking at it, and I believe you could even use a, an MRE Flamus Ration Heater. The pouch itself, these are 9 ounces, which is a little bit larger than a standard MRE entree, which are 8 ounces. And the bag itself is bigger than the uh, Flamus Ration Heater, so it doesn't seem like it would be a good candidate to be using there. But I was looking at it, and I think if you fold over the top like this, squish it down a little bit, fold it over, even though it's pretty thick, I think you'd probably be able to get it into into the uh, Flamus Ration Heater with some difficulty. And what I'm going to do, I was originally going to do these in hot water, but instead I decided to do something a little bit more in line with an MRE, and I'm going to use one of these meal spec heaters, because the bag itself is a lot bigger, and I think I can actually put both of these right into this one and heat it up. So let's go ahead and heat these up, and we'll talk about them a little bit more. Actually, first off, let me look at the ingredients. This is for the marinara and Italian sausage rotini, which I don't think I mentioned that that's the uh, first meal, the prego meal. Here's the ingredients. And here are the nutrition facts too. The paste ready meals, we have cheesy chicken quesadilla, which seems more like a chicken and rice dish, but that's what they're gonna call it. And um, we have a special thing on here, I took the other one off, but I think you can still see most of the ingredients. And here are the nutrition facts. 
One thing I just noticed here, uh, it does say non-BPA packaging. I was kind of concerned about heating this up in hot water and wondering if there would be any uh, anything coming off of these. These obviously aren't real retort pouches, they're just kind of like a, a plastic pouch. But according to this, it should be pretty safe heating it up in hot water. And the first thing down here, I just kind of funny, recommended use by date on container. I'm going to go a little bit beyond that, but I don't know, it shouldn't be too bad. So let's go ahead and heat these up. Now I've previously done a series of videos on the meal spec heater, so I'm not going to go too much into detail on these, but I will put a link down below for the playlist for, I think it's uh, four videos that I've made of these. That bird's pretty much on the same principle as a standard flameless ration heater, just a lot more powerful. It can actually boil water. It's so powerful, in fact, that they put the uh, heating element in a separate bag. Here's the heating element. It's actually a, a bag. It pops up quite a bit. As I said, I'm going to try to heat both of these up in here. I actually fit in pretty nice. It's pretty much perfectly made for one of them. Two might be a bit much, but we'll try it out anyway. It's about three to four ounces of water, a little bit more than an MRE. But the good thing about that is it's a little bit easier for the water to get to the heating element. And this is also kind of a test for these because I got these when they were pretty new and they're now actually a couple of years old. Yeah, it's actually already starting. There it goes. That was really fast. And as you can see, this lets off a good amount of steam. This doesn't seem to be heating quite as violently as I've seen them do in the past. But let me just pop this up in a rock or something and make it feel they're already getting warm. There's definitely a lot of heat in there. So we'll give that a few minutes to do its thing and then we'll try out the ready meals. Yeah, that's definitely doing something. A lot of steam in this thing. I think this is going to be plenty hot. Alright, there definitely appears to be a lot of heat left in here. But I'm going to attempt to take these out now because uh, I just need them to be hot. I don't really need them to be steaming or boiling. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get them out of this thing. Amount of heat being generated. There's one. There's two. Yeah, this thing could definitely do a lot more heating. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, these things are definitely quite warm. Uh, that's pretty much what I'd want if I was on the field. It's kind of funny how they, you know, it looks like they're different brands. And on the back, the Prego one recommends trying out Pace Meals, and the Pace one recommends trying out Prego Meals. So, uh, I think I've mentioned that I think these would be great for a homemade MRE. Basically because it's it's pretty much MRE food. The, the shelf life won't be as long. And uh, don't go by the fact that I you know I bought these out of date specifically, which is why I'm trying to use them up kind of quickly here. Because they're already past the date. But uh, I'm sure they would have you know, at least a six month shelf life. And another nice thing about these, in addition to the fact that they're actually an ounce larger than a standard MRE entree, is the fact that they have these, these expandable bottoms so you can stand them up. Which, another nice thing out in the field as you're eating them. You know, you can pop them up, you don't have to worry about holding on to them if they're really hot. It's like its own bowl. But speaking of bowls, I do have a couple bowls to put these in. So let's check them out. They have these cool touch little uh, portions here, which is supposed to be when you take them out of the microwave and they're steaming hot. I guess it's uh, one of the few places that don't come in contact with the food. So they have that, and they have, way down below that, they have the tear notch. Which is pretty close to the top of the food. 
a nice easy tear, like a MRE retour pouch. And here is our marinara and Italian sausage rotini. Mm, smells just like a canned pasta. It smells a lot like the MRE cheese tortellini, by that kind of a marinara sauce. There are a couple different kinds of tomato sauces and MREs, and this definitely smells like one of them. A lot like one of them. But as you can see, this thing itself would have made a nice little bowl. And I'll check out the cheesy chicken quesadilla. Smell, you know what, it does smell like a, a quesadilla or a, a burrito kind of a thing. Almost looks like the middle it might not be, let's see, yeah, the middle's not quite, it's not quite heated through. If I gave that a few more minutes, it probably would have been better. But we can always mix it up. Because it's, uh, the outside is very hot. So you can see it's a cheesy rice kind of a dish. And let's go ahead and put it in here so we can get a better look at it. What it looks like on the package, and that's what it looks like in real life. A little bit different package, real life. All right, so that's what they look like. Now let's see what they taste like. Let's start off with the marinara and Italian sausage rotini. And you can see you have the rotini. There's some sausage in there. It's kind of like crumbles. I think this is going to be a lot like, uh, if you're familiar with the MRE pasta dishes, I have a feeling this is going to be just the same, even without having tried it yet. It very much has that package flavor. Kind of an acidic sort of a tomato sauce. I guess it's the, uh, the marinara. There's nothing wrong with it. Similar to a canned pasta. Very similar to an MRE. Not exactly the same, but very similar. I definitely think this would be great if you were out in the field and uh, looking for a hot meal that's easy to prepare and easy to heat up. And uh, this isn't terribly hot, as I said, I, I didn't think because it was such a thick package, the uh, middle wasn't really all that hot. So uh, when you mix it up, the whole thing is just kind of lukewarm. But I, I think this would be fine cold, too. It'll give you some important nutrients and fill you up. Nine ounces worth. Now we'll take a look at the cheesy chicken quesadilla. Not quite the same as on the package there, but uh, you can see there's a lot of rice in here. Looks cheesy. Well, there's a bean here. You see a bean and a little chunk of chicken here. It's like a yeah, tomato, I guess it's a pepper over here. Yeah, it's pretty good too. As I said, it almost tastes like it has a tortilla in it. I don't know if it's the um, rice or if it's some kind of just the flavoring to give it that feeling like you're actually eating a quesadilla. But it's pretty good. And um, along the lines of uh, some of the MRE Mexican style dishes, Southwestern style, not, not very spicy at all. You could certainly use some hot sauce if you had some and you're looking for something spicy. But again, something that would uh, fill you up if you're out, in, uh, out camping, out in the woods, hunting, doing whatever. There's some chicken. I'm gonna have some some corn. Doesn't seem to be a ton of chicken in here. It's kind of like the rotini. Oh, wait, well, there's a big, big chunk right here. There wasn't really a ton of sausage in the rotini. It was a bunch of little crumbles. But just as I was about to complain about it, there's a nice big chunk of chicken right here. And it seems to be a real piece of chicken, as opposed to something just kind of uh, chunked and formed. Or I don't know, maybe it is. It feels a little bit more chunked and formed. But it does taste like chicken. I mean, 
what doesn't I suppose but it's uh it's not bad at all nothing spectacular but that's what we always say about the MREs too right it's something to eat something to fill you up I think it'll be fine cold and it's even better heated not bad at all so that was a relatively quick look at some prego and pace ready meals the marinara and Italian sausage rotini and the cheesy chicken quesadilla couple things I think would make uh, great examples of entrees for homemade MREs. Thank you for watching.